Since August 1975, Barbados and Panama established diplomatic relations and have since enjoyed a positive and productive partnership with almost 110 years of historical linkages. And yesterday, both countries strengthened bilateral relations with the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Pro-Panama Export and Investment Promotion Authority at the Savannah Hotel. According to Donna Ford, Director General, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Barbados's decision to finally establish a diplomatic presence here are strong signals of both governments' mutual efforts to strengthen bilateral partnerships. The government of Barbados is firmly committed to building on strengthening our historical relationship through education, tourism, cultural exchanges, commerce and trade, and activities such as these. These initiatives permit us to commemorate and celebrate our historical and cultural links and increase opportunities for enhanced cooperation and commercial exchanges. Similarly, James Clark, president of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce, says this initiative is a strategic opportunity to further promote economic growth, entrepreneurship and innovation. We see the presence of the Embassy of Panama as a gateway to new horizons offering our local businesses unprecedented access to the dynamic Panamanian market and its myriad of opportunities. Over the past 26 years, exports from Barbados to Panama have witnessed a steady ascent from 24,700 US dollars in 1995 to a noteworthy 890,000 US dollars in 2021. Meanwhile, Her Excellency Janewa Tawani Menkomo, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Panama, says the Caribbean has always been at the forefront of global change, but notes that it was still, in many ways, a house divided. She says this further strengthening of relations will now deepen and signal a new way forward. We are neighbors, we are brothers and sisters, but we don't act like it. We have spent centuries looking beyond our region and past each other from meaning, ideas, and answers. We need to overcome that. We need to turn our differences into strengths, and we need to do it now. Because my friends, the truth is, the Caribbean has always been at the forefront of global change. Those in attendance were also treated to some Panamanian wares, which will soon be available to the general public. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.